Hi, I'm Kirk Johnson, a U.S. Army veteran and owner of Energy Star Exteriors. Call us today for all your home or business exterior needs and a free professional inspection or quote. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now's the reason we do AVM every year. This event was birthed as Army versus Marines nine years ago, and it started at the Grizzly Rose, and it eventually grew to the Budweiser Event Center. This event would no longer fit in there, so we felt we needed to make the move to Pepsi Center. So I'd like to say thank you for everybody in here that came out to support. For many of you that don't know what AVM is, it was birthed as Army versus Marines, as I had discussed. My father was a Vietnam veteran, and he served with the 173rd Airborne in Vietnam. Growing up, I had a very stressed relationship with him, and so I desperately wanted and needed to have understanding for what he had been through. As I got much older, I learned to appreciate the hell that he had gone through as a 19-year-old man. So this year, it's very, very special. We're gonna honor some unsuspecting Vietnam veterans. At this time, representing the United States Marine Corps, he served in Vietnam. Please welcome to the cage, Larry Tobin. We'd also like to thank a veteran-owned business, Kirk Johnson with Energy Star, who sponsored this ceremony and the awards. Like I said, these gentlemen did not get a warm welcome coming home, so we wanted to make sure we did. The next veteran we're honoring, a member of the United States Army who served in Vietnam. Please welcome to the cage, Mr. Mike Rarick. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the next veteran served in the United States Navy during Vietnam and also is the father of Marine Jared Padilla who just fought. Please welcome to the cage, Mr. Rudy Padilla. The final surprise 
honoree. I, I really I wanted to be able to bring my father in here today and and uh, and do this for him, but unfortunately he he didn't want to come, so we weren't able to do that. But um, I do have another Marine that I'd like to honor tonight. He did not serve during Vietnam, but I've had a pleasure of working with him. Um, they are a sponsor. They own Supplement Giant. He was wounded. He's a Purple Heart recipient. Nick Roberts, if you're in the crowd, can you please come up? <laughs> Nick was wounded by a sniper uh, a while back and has made a full recovery. You know, ladies and gentlemen, too often we always talk about in, we live in a world where everything offends everybody and either you're right or left, but tonight what I love about it is we're 6,000 proud of Americans. So let's put it together for just being a proud American and being in this building. We also have David Casillas from uh, Mile High Jewelers who made custom hero rings for all these gentlemen and they'll be delivered next week as well. So gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you. I know you didn't get treated the best after you served in Vietnam, but we do appreciate you very much. And on the count of three, this is my favorite part. Let's chant USA five times for all the proud Americans. One, two, three. USA, 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 USA. USA! USA! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another proud Marine right here that we honored a few years ago, also served in Vietnam. Give it up for Ed Santa Steven. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabe is the bravest young man I've ever met in my life, diagnosed with stage four brain and spine cancer at age four, uh, age nine. Uh, he's now like a grown man, but I gotta tell you, he is a Raiders fan, so you know. But ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to welcome in two very special groups tonight. We worked with Project Sanctuary, Ranger Regroup, the Green Beret Association and for the Fallen. At this time, I'm gonna give them each a minute to talk to you about their foundation, helping veterans, and then we will get on the roll to the main card. So thank you all so much. Wow, what a night, huh, folks? What a night. We've seen this thing three years ago, and it's grown, and it's grown, and it's getting better. We thank you so much, Jeff, for giving the community. So we started a program to provide transitional housing for our men and women as they exit the military 
in order to give them the right transition for the first time. It started here in Colorado. We are now building the very first property in Canyon Lake, Texas. Thanks to you all that have helped this happen, we will be returning back up here to Colorado to start on a property here in the future. Not only do we do that, but we grow food to be a self-sustained nonprofit, one of the first in the country to do that. And it's your dollars that are making this happen by buying our Red Friday shirts, remembering everyone that's deployed, for giving to our donation pages, and to other events that we throw around here like this, when Jeff does something like this for us. So thank you once again for giving, having us here, and please, help a veteran out. How you doing, Denver? I'd like to thank Sparta Combat for allowing us to come here. This is the fourth or fifth event that um, they've allowed us to come to and raise money for our charity. So we're the Green Beret Association. We're a 501c3 that supports wounded, ill, and injured special operations soldiers and Gold Star families. Uh, we're pretty broad of what we do, so anything that they need, we can provide, whether it's assistance with a new house to uh, the Tandy capable or for our veterans that, that have been forgotten in the past, we should take care of them too. People ask, hey, why are we coming here? Why do an event like this? But well, we're a warrior community, and you guys are a warrior community, and that's all we're asking. One warrior community supporting another warrior community. Look at this legacy of warriors that are standing around us and the legacy of warriors that are in this arena right now. All of us at some point have been touched by this war. Memorial Day is no longer about barbecues. Everybody here knows somebody that has been touched by this war, either past or present. Let's step up and let's support our veterans. And it's great, it's great organizations like Sparta Combat that make that happen. And it's great people like you that make that happen. Without you, we can't do the things that we do. So come up, support us, help us out. Hey, we're raffling a pistol up there. You know, warrior again, we're all warriors. So let's take care of our troops. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could take a, a minute to take out your phone and, and like Ranger Regroup and Green Beret Association, um, both of these foundations are amazing. Also, For the Fallen and Project Sanctuary, they're doing good things, and we can't do it alone, so we need your help. With that being said, thank you all so much. Who's ready to witness combat sports history and the King of Sparta Championship? Who's here? Who's here for the Jose Aureliano versus Antonio Flores State Championship? And who's here for the main event in MMA, Anthony Sugarfoot Adams versus Flavio Magon? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much again, and let's enjoy the rest of this card.
Colorado weather is unpredictable. Your property repairs don't have to be. If your home or business has been damaged by wind or hail, call the experts at Energy Star Exteriors for a free professional inspection. And we're not just experts handling insurance claims. We can also help you out with solar, windows, siding, painting, and gutters. We are veteran owned and operated, and we will treat your property like it's our own. Call Energy Star Exteriors today at 303-913-6397. Military service often takes a toll on the entire family. Veterans are taking their own lives at a rate of 20 a day, leaving shattered families behind. Project Sanctuary works with the whole family, giving them hope and the tools to heal together. We believe that no military family should be left behind. And with your help, we can save and forever change lives. Join us. Sponsor a military family today. Hey, what kind of blood is it? Is it squirting? Yeah, yeah. 